just want to do a little something for guys on Trapper Man here that have asked me some questions about making a snare for head snaring coon, and that's about overloading a snare. Been a lot done about how to actually load a snare by putting that roundness in it, but this is actually overloading a snare. And I have this number, piece of number nine wire here that I use on my supports, and you'll notice here real close that there's a steel whammy. I like the metal whammies and not the plastic ones because I trap in cold weather and the plastic is doesn't give very much. So I like that little steel whammy there that fits very snug on your support wire. But the way I load these is uh, when I'm head snaring coon or over is actually overloading. And if you look right here, you will notice from this ferrule here, notice the design. I'm following it with my finger here. That actually is what I call a swan's neck. Uh, you can see the way it's, it's bent. And that's done by pulling that through. Once the snare is loaded, you actually pull that through and bend it. And you're taking that and you're bending it. You're manipulating the cable just like I'm doing it here. You're bending that, so that puts extra pressure on that. And when you see, when you take the snare and you let go of it, you see how this snare, just, just by me letting go of the lock, the least little bit of pressure here, you see how fast that is. I'm going to take this off this support wire here so it works a little better, but just so you can see this. This is about what size I would want. You see my hand's about seven, eight inches. This is about a five, five and a half inch circle. And you see this little bit of a swan's neck here, and that's caused from overloading or manipulating that cable. And what that does, you see, it, as soon as it gets a little pressure here, when I touch this, you see how fast that, that goes. And like I said, just, just watch this when I let go. Watch when I let go with this finger here. See how that, see how that cable slides on there. Now, this isn't spring loader. I'm not doing anything to close that cable. All I'm doing is letting go of that cable. I have a little, little bit of pressure here. So you see how fast that cable is. And if you don't, if you don't load your snares to, to perform that fast, you're not going to head snare coon consistently. You see how fast that is. It goes just back and forth. Like I said, what that does, that's your snare. And as soon as that touches, it just springs shut. And I also do this on my mink snares to be able to head snare um, the majority of my mink and also muskrat and beaver. But we're, we're talking specifically for head snare and coon. This is 1 16th. Cable. And I've had snared a lot of, a lot of uh, mink with this. I've also had snared a lot of coons. But you see that over manipulation there, that swan's neck. That it's almost like a swan, the, the way his neck goes in his, in his belly there. So like I said, when you see that, and you see how fast that that cable closes, you have to have a cable that will close that fast if you want to be able to consistently head snare raccoons. There's the size of your loop to head snare coons, about a five inch loop. You see the design of the cable, and hopefully that'll help you guys for making your cable if you want to head snare coons.